system wise uh, for Ohio State, Peter, what do you, what do you see? I mean, they have the, the kind of talent in that league to probably be pretty aggressive on their four check. Is that, that what you'd be looking for? <clears throat> yeah, we've certainly talked about how they four check and uh, what we need to be aware of for our breakouts. Um, yeah, they have a, yeah, they, they come at you pretty hard with a couple guys there. and uh, Same thing through the neutral zone. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, their system, I, I, I guess, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it passive, even though they're setting up into a particular structure that they're using. And, and then if you take it into their own end, uh, like I said, they're hard and, and they're good right through their slot. I would imagine you're coming off a high of the first series of the season. You sweep Niagara and then you have two whole weeks off. So how do you get the team equipped in that mindset to just stay locked in with such a big break in between series? Yeah, no, that's, that's a good question. Um, I, I think a benefit of that is we do have those Niagara feelings and we're feeling good about ourselves and it's given two weeks for confidence just to grow. Uh, perhaps if guys are doing any sort of imagery or whatnot, they're getting those some, same sensations from those games. So it's nice to be able to build that up. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, we didn't have an opponent last weekend. So you certainly wonder, okay, are we making sure we're getting what we need in practice so we can perform at our best this coming weekend? How do you try to just to keep them going, or is it just still early in the season where you got fresh bodies and everyone's excited for this? Well, I think, yeah, for sure, that's a big part of it. Um, and then even, like you say, yeah, talk about Ohio State or whatnot. We know they're a great opponent, but, again, it's so early in the season. We're so focused on ourselves. Uh, fortunately, we have a pretty good staff here. And, uh, we have certain metrics we can look at with the workload that the guys are getting. Um, but, yeah, it's a good time. Again, I'm new here, so it's a great opportunity for me just to have more conversations with our players and get to know them a lot better and help them uh, help bring with the best in their games. You mentioned get to know the players a little bit. What other benefits were there to having the off week this week that you might not have had if you had to come right back the next week and play? Well, I think, first of all, uh, you look at health. Um, so, so there's something there where it gives um, players a little bit more time for recovery for whatever they may be dealing with. Um, sure, do, would we rather play last weekend? I think so. I think, I think we'd love to play every weekend. I think we would have been playing for four, five, six weeks already. So, um, but that being said, like, yeah, it is what it is. It gives us a little bit more time to go through video, uh, do a little bit more individual session, line sessions with guys like that. Yeah, and you're not as uh, pressed to, to cram it all in in one week. You guys like to say focused on you a lot in a Again, that's a that's a great question. Um, I, for me, I thought we were much better the second night than the first night. And again, so the, the score of the first night was pretty good. Uh, but in so far as like the habits that we're looking to uh, makes part of our foundation be stronger with, I thought those were much better the second night. So um, it was a good response uh, for me. Again, being new to the situation when you have a lopsided game like that, but to see our guys came out to play right from the get go game too. So that that was nice to see. And to be quite frank, it was like a playoff hockey game. We, we carried a lot of the play, uh, but the score, you know, we, we weren't ahead. So there's maybe some added pressures with that. And I thought our guys were able to yeah, deal with that no problem and just keep playing. You mentioned being new, obviously. What differences have you seen coming back to the college game after having been you know, at the pro level? Oh, goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> on one hand, I feel like I could give you a laundry list. On the other hand, you know, like hockey's hockey, people are people, and that's ultimately what we're dealing with. So uh, what I can say is, is the group here, like their enthusiasm, how they are, their cohesion uh, between each other is fantastic. So uh, that's really exciting for me. Um, yeah, differences. I guess back to the games played, you know, we waited quite a bit here uh, to get going. So that's one thing that I've noticed for sure. But um, the, the energy that our group has, and like I say, the, the teamwork, the camaraderie, uh, again, cohesion is what comes to mind when I just walk into that locker room and spend time around the guys. Peter, you mentioned the seasons uh, early. Uh, is there still some, just some mixing and matching that you're thinking of uh, at this point, uh, even diff trying different things non-conference, even though they're all important? I don't want to certainly indicate that that's not, not the case at all, but are you still just trying some different things, combinations here and there? Yeah, I think ultimately we're always trying to balance, you know, like the, the three inches right in front of our nose in the game this weekend and also the long-term development where our team can be in January, where we can be in March and April. Um, so that goes into it. Yeah, and so as far as trying new things or whatnot, uh, that, that, that's certainly stuff for Mike, but uh, do we have a lot of discussions about multiple different ideas and way to approach things? Absolutely.